we will now study about oriental region oriental region means any region in the east the orient means east and this region mainly consists of india ceylon that is sri lanka indo china indonesia malaysia philippines and several small islands around indian ocean islands known as seychelles and because of the importance of malayan archipelago this region is also known by the name indo malayan region now we will see about the physical features of oriental realm the oriental realm is basically characterized by tropical climate in a tropical climate we have temperature about 20 degree most of the time and and there are only two season that is a dry season and a wet season or a rainy season another characteristic feature of a tropical climate is that they are frost free that is that means there is no snow and the day length and night length are also are also same that is we can find 12 hour day 12 hour night and the sunlight will be very intense and temperature is usually uh, usually high so these are some of the features of a tropical climate the next thing about a oriental realm is that they have a thick rain forest in the eastern part the eastern part of a of a oriental realm means basically countries of thailand indonesia burma vietnam and all these countries are coming under the eastern part if you look at the geography of this area and these areas are mostly characterized by thick rain forest and moist deciduous forest now the next thing about the oriental region is that in the northern part of an oriental realm we have high mountains that is the himalayan mountain in the northern part and this himalayan mountain is actually preventing the uh, bro, preventing the free passage of cold moist air from siberian area to indian subcontinent in the absence of the heavy himalayan mountain range the most of the indian indian subcontinent will be will be covered with the snow during the winter so himalayan mountain range is preventing in the indian uh, subcontinent from getting frozen during winter now if you look at the western part of the oriental realm that is the western part of oriental realm basically consists of india the most of the india is coming on the western part of the oriental realm and this western part is dry that is if you look at the rajasthan delhi and gujarat and associated areas these areas are basically dry and and this uh, is another character of the oriental realm in if you look at the map the most of the world desert are located at the western border of uh, major continents like thar desert the sahara desert california desert atacama desert and all these desert are on the western part of a major landscape and this is because of the rotation of earth from west to east now we will see the sub regions of the oriental realm there are four sub regions in this realm the first one is the indian sub region the indian sub region include most of the northern india and extends up to mysore and goa region the second sub region is known as the ceylonese sub region it include peninsular india that is the state of kerala and tamil nadu and certain portion of the karnataka and andhra pradesh are coming in this region in addition the ceylonese sub region includes the entire sri lanka or ceylon and the third sub region is known as indo china sub region then it includes the southern portion of china Myanmar and Thailand and the last sub region is the Indo-Malayan sub region that is a this sub region include most of the Malayan peninsula that is a Malayan mainland and the group of islands around the Malaysia which is known as a Malayan archipelago among the animals several large mammals are present in oriental realm this includes leopard tiger water buffalo asian elephant indian rhinoceros Javan rhinoceros, Malayan tapir, orangutan, and gibbons. Two endemic mammals are present in oriental region. They are kulugus and trishrus. The kulugus are also known as flying lemur, and they have an extra skin between their legs to glide from higher to lower locations. The trishrus are similar to squirrels, 
and they feed on small vertebrates, fruits and insects. Some of the tree stools are also known for eating the roughly sea fruit. 66 families of birds are seen in Oriental region. They are peasants, pittas, old world babblers, flower peckers, honey guides, woodpecker, hornbill and the peacock. The leaf birds and fairy leaf birds as well as the Philippine creepers are endemic to this oriental region. Among reptiles, many snakes, lizards, turtles and crocodiles are seen. Some species like Gavialis, Jekko, the chameleon, the Indian monitor lizard that is the Varanus, Python, Tiflops, Testudo, Cobra and snakes like Xenopeltis uh, and Europeltis are also seen in the oriental region. The amphibians are mainly represented by orders like Enura and Epoda. The tailed amphibians are very rare. Only one genus is represented here, that is a Tylotriton vircosus. Several species of Rana, Hyla and Rachophorus Buffo are seen. Ichthyophis, Eurotiflus and Gigenophis are the limbless amphibians that we can find in the oriental region. The fish fauna is mainly dominated by carps and catfishes. They show resemblance to the Ethiopian region in several cases. Nototeridae and Anabandidae are two important families of fishes present in oriental region. Similarly, Sipsilurus and Syngenathus are also widely seen in oriental region.